to serve you with my plate. We are happy that you're able to join us today as we celebrate you and part of our a Provider Appreciation Day. We have just a few announcements before we begin. Upon completion of this webinar, you will receive a certificate of completion. This certificate will be delivered via email to the email address that you used to log in today. Certificates will be emailed to you by May 24th. The certificate will come from the LMCC certificate at usa.childcareaware.org email address. Upon completion of today's webinar, you will also receive a mail packet of materials from MyPlate. These materials will be delivered to the address you use to register for today's webinar. If you have questions during today's webinar, please type them into the question box on the right-hand side of your screen. We will have time for questions and answers at the end. Our speaker today is Dr. Robert Post. He is the Associate Executive Director of USDA's Center for Nutrition Policy and Promotion. He directs the department's agency that sets national nutrition policy and that designs and implements innovative and effective science-based national nutrition promotion and outreach programs to improve the health of all Americans. He provides oversight for the design and implementation of USDA's new My Plate Food Icon, the ChooseMyPlate.gov website, USDA's award-winning Super Tracker, and the associated multimodal, multi-year dietary guidelines consumer communications campaign. Under the MyPlate Public-Private Partnership Initiative, he is leading a challenge to corporate America, youth, community and research organizations, educators, healthcare providers, and the media to help magnify the reach of dietary guidelines nutrition messages by creatively working in ways that promote healthy eating practices and increase physical activity. I will now hand it over to Dr. Post to present today's webinar. Well, thank you so very much uh, for the invitation to be here uh, uh, and, and celebrate uh, provider appreciation. Uh, I know from my personal experience, um, providers, uh, certainly uh, child care and health care providers are, are absolutely uh, essential uh, and that, that's, that's the way it's been for, for my experiences in life. And so I'm, I'm happy to do what little I can uh, in this webinar to really help you and, and understand that um, a healthier you obviously translates to, to uh, a, 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 a healthier environment that you can make. And so taking care of yourself with my plate is uh, to us uh, essential. And so for this um, presentation this afternoon, um, you should um, learn uh, that um, that we uh, will uh, gain a whole lot of uh, advice about um, uh, about um, uh, I'm sorry, there's a message up on the screen uh, about eating healthier, making healthier choices, certainly being more physically active, all the things that you can do to be healthier. Uh, and my plate uh, carries a lot of essential messages from the dietary guidelines to help you um, make uh, uh, a um, healthier choices every day. Uh, so what, what I hope this afternoon to, to give you uh, is a better understanding of the resources and tools that are available at, at choosemyplate.gov. And, and also, um, I, I hope that I can give you information to help you learn to take care of yourself with healthy eating and physical activity. And, and also, uh, by the end, you should definitely be able to identify ways that you could be a role model uh, with my plate tips and how to's and, and easy to apply strategies that, that you could uh, build into your everyday life. So I, I hope you're all aware of my plate. You know, have a minute in, in a minute I'll probably ask you about that. But so what's my plate all about? Well, when we uh, learned a lot from the food pyramid, and many of you I think are aware of the food pyramid. Uh, for so long we relied on the food pyramid to, um, uh, to, to tell us about healthier eating. Well, it was really confusing. And so we had to develop a different approach, a simpler approach. And we designed the MyPlate food icon and, and then drew from the Dietary Guidelines for Americans messages about healthier eating that everyone could apply. 
Uh, and, and it's a matter of having information wherever you need to make a food decision. So what you see here is a fantastic uh, uh, website, choosemyplate.gov. That'll be a one-stop shop for all the information you probably need. I'll talk a little bit about Super Tracker, which is an online tool, uh, and information about it at choosemyplate.gov. I'll talk about a lot of these how-tos, these tips that you could easily apply to make healthier food decisions and be more active. And then we are relying on social media these days, definitely. Um, uh, a fairly, uh, uh, a lot of us are, are relying on getting information where we need to make a food decision. And in many cases, um, we're looking for print materials as well. So we've actually provided information in a lot of different forms. And I'll talk about that and show you some examples. So, as I said, we, we were looking for something different when it came to the dietary guidelines in 2010. The 2010 dietary guidelines are the best dietary guidelines ever. They've, they've really been built on the best nutrition science. Um, so how could we really engage consumers and, and, and just about everyone older than two years old in a very um, appealing way, in a way that's familiar? Uh, and so that, that became our goal. Uh, and we joined with Let's Move and the First Lady in uh, the research that we conducted leading to the MyPlate icon and the messages that relate to it in launching that in June of 2011. And we're very happy to have uh, the First Lady. Uh, she is a, a fantastic uh, role model and certainly a great advocate that's brought a lot of visibility to nutrition and health and diet. Um, and, and there in the picture you see Secretary Vilsack and, and uh, Surgeon General Benjamin also present to help us really celebrate this new approach to getting people the information they need to make the simple changes in, in the way they eat. So there is a history here. We're, we're of course looking at, at our webinar being sponsored by Let's Move. It's a fantastic effort. And, and by the way, my plate is the perfect complement to Let's Move because it really talks about healthier eating and, and it really matches very well with the goals of Let's Move in getting people more physically active, especially children, and certainly uh, enhancing our abilities to reduce childhood obesity um, uh, in this generation and the next. So we have some history here in working with Let's Move, some great partnerships products of partnerships. Uh, we launched Mi Plato. I'll talk about that in a moment. That's the Spanish translation of, um, of My Plate. Uh, we also uh, launched together with Let's Move a My Plate Fruits and veg Vegetables video challenge all about how can you make happier plate fruits and vegetables. A lot of great kids develop videos that, by the way, are at choosemyplate.gov if you want to see them. And more recently, we joined with Let's Move and the Partnership for Healthy America uh, to launch the My Plate Recipes in Pinterest page on Pinterest, uh, and fantastic way to get My Plate inspired healthier recipes uh, and how you can make those in very simple ways. And by the way, I see I have a picture of me there holding the Ki in su plato um, uh, poster. Um, you get a picture of me this way, but by the way, I'm not protesting. I'm actually um, celebrating uh, the launch of Mi Plato at the White House uh, in September 2011. So, um, we um, we are uh, talking about uh, Mi Plato, or I just mentioned Mi Plato, uh, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so how can you, uh, oh, here we go, unveiling Mi Plato at the White House. Um, we've got uh, a, a great history in working with uh, not only Let's Move, but also other departments across the federal sector. And we were able in September of 2011 to launch Mi Plato and translate a lot of the great resources that you see at, cho at choosemyplate.gov. Uh, and uh, in fact, in September of 2011, we had not only our Secretary of Agriculture, but Secretary of Interior Ken Salazar, Surgeon General um, Regina Benjamin, the White House chef, uh, Sam Cass, another great advocate for uh, healthier eating, and then celebrity chefs as well. And so you see there uh, a couple of our 10 tips pieces translated into Spanish, 10 simple ways to um, to get information you need to make healthier choices. And you know, 
uh, when it comes to chronic illnesses and, and obesity, really, there is no language barrier. We're all suffering uh, from um, the problems of, of making too many, perhaps, less healthy uh, uh, food decisions, and we should be making more healthy food decisions. So how can you get started? What can you do? Uh, and using, in, in terms of using our, um, our ChooseMyPlate.gov references or resources and, um, and really challenge yourself in, in simple ways to make some decisions that are healthier decisions. Well, there are eight essential messages uh, that are supporting MyPlate. Um, enjoy your food, but eat less. Avoid oversized portions. Make half your plate fruits and vegetables. A very simple and powerful how-to. Make at least half your grains whole grains. Very, very important. And also, something you can do that's very easy. You know, comparing sodium in foods, the amount of sodium in foods, you find that on labels, you can ask at restaurants, you can make your decisions to always choose foods, foods with lower numbers of sodium. And then drinking water instead of sugary drinks, we get a lot of calories that are really empty calories from sugary drinks. Drinking more water, at least switching out one sugary drink with water a day can save you so many calories. And switching to fat-free or low-fat milk, we all need to consume more milk for vitamin D, for bone health, especially kids. So that's an essential message. And then being active, always balancing your, in, your calories, your food intake with, with the right amount of exercise, always important. So how do you get started? Let me give you some pointers. Well, if you're talking about eating the MyPlate way, uh, you can go to choosemyplate.gov or you can use the resources that you can, we'll, we'll deliver to you and you can find uh, in hard copies. Um, use the uh, choosemyplate.gov, um, the website uh, for the uh, health tips and the resources there. And, and among the resources you'll find uh, is a daily food plan. You can select the daily food plan that meets your needs. Uh, you can use it to guide building a healthy plate. And, and when I say meeting your needs, I really mean within the calories you need based on the physical activity habits that you have, certainly based on your gender, uh, age, and, and weight. There's a lot of very um, uh, important information that can help you really select the food plan that works for you. And then you can actually, in an interactive, personalized way, determine how many calories you actually need based on these kinds, this kind of information. And you can do that using SuperTracker. And I've given the site here, supertracker.usda.gov. Uh, that's how we put the dietary guidelines into operation. Very simple, easy to uh, uh, use, um, and I'll show you a little bit about that in a few minutes. Oops. So I mentioned those messages, those messages that come from the dietary guidelines that are the essential messages to really help us make those simple changes that can really make a big difference. Uh, and I've given you uh, one of the most important messages here. Make half your plate fruits and vegetables. Well, you can discover uh, definitely uh, fast ways uh, to cook foods. Uh, you can certainly cook uh, fresh or frozen vegetables in the microwave. Uh, you know, by the way, GE is out there with a MyPlate button on, on its largest volume selling uh, microwave. We're so happy for that kind of partnership. So we, we know we can actually steam our vegetables without the sauces, you know, and without the salt, but using really uh, very um, lively uh, and tasty uh, herbs and, and spices. You can steam uh, the vegetables I've mentioned here in terms of fast ways to cook. Uh, we can also make half our plates fruits, fruits and vegetables by choosing vegetables that are rich in color. We get a lot more vitamins and minerals uh, when you brighten your plate with vegetables that are, are red and orange and dark green. Um, those are your better choices. Um, and then uh, you can certainly uh, be ahead of the game by cutting up vegetables, having them ready, preparing them, even prepackaging them. When you buy them, get them home from the store, certainly make them into bite-sized pieces, into salad-sized pieces, into serving-sized pieces, and put them in plastic bags and then enjoy them uh, when you need to make that salad or when you, when you want to make that wrap. And, and uh, other tips, certainly don't forget the fiber. Vegetables uh, are, and fruits are great sources of the fiber we need. We don't get enough fiber. And then certainly 
uh, salad bars aren't just all a matter of getting our lettuce. There's a lot of very interesting things to make uh, to, uh, our, our vegetables. Um, it, more lively, you can add fruits to vegetables, but you can also look to fruits in, in, in particular as being great desserts that uh, are not um, it high in calorie, but are certainly more um, appealing. Another message uh, that is supporting my plate is enjoying our food but eating less, and also avoiding oversized portions. Um, you know, one of the easy ways you can find out about this, learn more about it, and then adopt some, some behaviors that really work for you, is to really get to know the foods you eat. And you can do that using Super Tracker. So it's, it's really a fantastic use of our taxpayer dollars. We created a dietary assessment tool. It, it's a weight management tool. It's also a physical activity tracking tool. And, and what it allows you to do is really find out the kinds of foods that you like, and even get some tips and some um, coaching to make more helpful decisions if what you add up at the end of the day really doesn't um, meet the dietary guidelines. You can figure out how much to eat and then get support for making healthier food choices. You can also um, know that enjoying your food uh, means really taking your time. Be, be mindful to eat slowly, enjoy uh, food for its taste and textures. You know, we all come prepared with our taste preferences and also our cultural traditions. And it is about enjoying food. Uh, we understand that. But you can also build in sort of this healthful filter uh, in the choices we make. Celebrate our traditions, certainly enjoy our foods, but, but look to uh, certain cues, for example, you know, when we're full, uh, that's a time to stop. We can always take away a doggy bag from the restaurant. We can also uh, use smaller plates, for example, uh, to help with portion control. And that's another tip here. Um, you can always uh, put food away uh, for another meal or share it with uh, a family member or um, someone that you're, you're eating with. And, and if you eat out, you, you can also make the healthier options. It's always uh, good to ask about how foods are made uh, in looking at menus. A lot of times you get more healthier choices. Choosing more vegetables and even asking for vegetable size uh, is always a great idea when you eat out. And then satisfying your sweet tooth in a healthy way is another recommendation. Look to fruit, certainly uh, fruits made with even, even yogurt, uh, a great healthy addition, or even uh, desserts like uh, baked apples, great options that satisfy our sweet uh, tooths. So another message, another essential message uh, behind uh, the, um, the my plate icon is to make at least half our grains whole grains, a very important message. Uh, and, and really, how we can do this really relies on asking about our foods if we're away from home, asking how foods are made. But an easy way to do it in the supermarket is to really look at the ingredient statement on labels. And when you see a whole grain, oatmeal, um, or um, whole wheat as, as the first or second ingredient, you know you're making a more healthier choice. And um, we've got a, uh, a video here that um, some of our partners helped us develop. Uh, and um, let's, sh let's see it. Uh, it's actually talking about whole grains for breakfast.
long on nutrition and short on test time, simply use the My Plate icon as a tool to incorporate grains, along with other healthy foods from the protein, fruits, and or vegetables, and low-fat dairy groups. Here are some of my go-to breakfast ideas to get you started. On the go, pick up some whole grain cereal bars and add a glass of low-fat or fat-free milk and a piece of fruit. Like the layered loaf, make a parfait by layering your favorite low-fat yogurt with fruit and crumbled whole grain cereal. A traditional loaf, fill a bowl with whole grain cereal and seasonal berries and top with skim milk. Always hungry before lunchtime, Make a breakfast sandwich with eggs prepared your way, tucked inside your favorite whole grain pita pocket, or between two slices of whole grain toast, top of low-fat cheese and tomato slices. Love sweet and savory? Spread peanut butter on a whole grain bagel or a slice of raisin bread and top with sliced fruit. Want more spice in your life? Grab a whole grain tortilla, spread with salsa, layer with cooked eggs and veggies, and heat it up in the microwave. Nutritious, portable, quick, and economical. With whole grains, you'll never have to miss out on breakfast again. For more information, go to choosemyplate.gov. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I, I will add, too, that there are five videos about whole grains uh, at choosemyplate.gov. This is just one about whole grains for breakfast. Uh, there are other videos that talk about what whole grains are. A lot of people aren't quite sure what a whole grain is and, or what whole grain foods are. And then how you get them into your meals and the nutritional benefits, all part of this video series. And I'm happy to say this was a, a great product. Uh, these are great products of work we've done in, in partnerships with a lot of uh, organizations that really are um, helpful in getting the word out about healthier choices. So I hope you look for these videos and, and, uh, and access them when you do have time. Next slide. Well, um, adding grains, whole grains, to our meals can be done in, in, in perhaps simple ways. Um, certainly uh, making simple switches. A lot of times it's all a matter of still enjoying foods when you make them, when you prepare them at home especially, you can swap out ingredients. And, and you can make simple switches in the decisions you make. Certainly eating 100% whole wheat bread, look for that whole wheat as that first ingredient or second ingredient in the ingredient statement when you're at the store. And, and, and eating that instead of white bread, certainly uh, a greater benefit. Trying brown rice or whole wheat pasta in your favorite recipes, a great way to get whole grains into your diets. Read the ingredients list, as you saw in the video. You know, one of the important things you can do, a, a wealth of information really, is the food label. And when it comes to whole grains, that's certainly a window on how that product is make, made. So look for whole wheat, look for whole, whole oats, look for oatmeal. Uh, as those important ingredient listings. So another message that supports my plate is drink water instead of sugary drinks. And you know, we're consuming so many calories, what we call empty calories, uh, from, from, with, from products with uh, significant calories from added sugars. Um, if, if you were to switch out one of your drinks, one of your sugar-sweetened beverages a day and, and drink water instead, boy, you, you would really, really get a benefit of, of probably um, more, um, more in your diet that's helpful to you uh, and certainly less empty calories. So drinking water uh, is great when you're thirsty. Uh, certainly um, uh, eating or consuming one less uh, beverage like a soda or an energy or sports drinks and switching it out is great. Um, and then when it comes to uh, the amount of water, um, really, thirst is, a, is, is the great indicator. Um, if you're running, if you're out there and you're physically active, you know, keep in mind, you probably need more water. Uh, but most of us, every day, if you're not really running, you're, you're not 
uh, into um, in high intensity physical activity, you're probably getting enough water from the foods and beverages uh, that we eat and drink every day. And so uh, just, just determine uh, what you need typically by thirst. Um, now, water can be a thrifty option. It's certainly an easier way, perhaps, on, on, uh, on uh, saving money when you drink water from the tap at home or even when you get tap water when eating out. And here again, I mean, it's that additional thing you could do in eating out to really save your calories for, for um, the small indulgences that really make a difference. And then manage your calories. Drinking water uh, with and between your meals is a great thing. You know, um, adults and, and children take in about 400 calories a day in beverages. Imagine if you have one less uh, sugar-sweetened beverage, you could, here again, manage your calories a lot better. And know that um, water and low-fat or fat-free milk or even 100% juice are really easier options at home. Uh, they, they are convenient. They, they certainly can uh, be put um, not only in a refrigerator but with a little uh, freezer um, pack and, and be taken on backpacks or lunch boxes uh, to, to make uh, a meal uh, really appealing away from home. Uh, another message that's so important because we're not consuming enough uh, dairy foods, we should be consuming more dairy foods for, for the calcium and the vitamin D they provide uh, because they're full of uh, vitamins uh, that we need. Um, and, but it's the low fat and the fat free milk that's your, your better bet when it comes to healthier options. And so um, the, it's, it's a matter of getting more dairy foods and when you switch to fat free or low fat milk you're contributing to the dairy foods we need. And generally um, the amount of, of dairy foods we need really depends on your age. Most kids need about two cups a day. Teenagers and, and adults need about three cups a day when it comes to milk. So make your choice instead of whole milk and instead of 2%, try switching out and, and get more fat-free or low-fat milk in, in your choices. It's for the calcium, certainly, and it's for the vitamin D we need. And bone health is so important for kids. Um, when it comes to uh, choices uh, and perhaps some lactose intolerance situations, certainly know that calcium-fortified soy milk is an option, is an alternative uh, to uh, cow's milk. And so that too does qualify for contributing to the dairy group. Uh, another message I mentioned earlier is comparing sodium and added sugars and saturated fats in foods. Uh, when you look at the food labels, uh, always choose those foods with lower numbers uh, for, for sodium, for added sugars and saturated fat. And guess what? You're going to save yourself an awful lot of calories and you're more than likely getting foods that have more nutrients, more vitamins, more minerals uh, than, um, uh, th than otherwise. And so eating foods uh, with, with added sugars less often is uh, a, a very important message. Um, and so um, some common sources of, of foods with added sugars, uh, soft drinks and energy drinks and sport drinks, certainly cookies, candies and cakes, consuming them less often and switching them out with healthier options. Um, skipping salt, you know, don't, don't necessarily use the salt shaker uh, uh, all the time. Taste your food first. It's always a good uh, recommendation, uh, especially when you go out uh, and when you haven't prepared the food yourself. Uh, certainly uh, think about using spices and herbs and, and flavorings like garlic or, or vinegar or even lemon juice really to, to jazz up foods and, and uh, make them those no salt seasonings. Um, limiting saturated fat intake, very important. When you're cooking, uh, replace those solid fats like butter uh, or, or um, tallow or, or lard with oils, so fats that are liquid at room temperature. Uh, are your better choices and, and use them um, as well as those cooking methods that don't really add fat. So baking instead of frying, always a healthier option. And, and so what are empty calories? I've mentioned that, I've used that term. Empty calories are calories from saturated fats uh, or, uh, and um, added sugars. And you can always see those added sugars when you look at a food label. You can tell that, uh, that ingredients that are added that are sugar sources uh, including honey 
and including molasses. But uh, when you see uh, high fructose corn syrup or corn syrup, you know that those are added sugars. And so always look for that sugars declaration on the label to really make your judgment and go with the lower number. So nu nutrition facts are always important. So are ingredient statements, and so are product names. These are all helpful parts of a food label. And so when we talk about being out there in the, in, in the supermarket or in the food environment, uh, you, you, you are helped by looking at nutrition facts. And, and if you're not aware of, of the, the, the framework of a, of a label, there is, there is a way to read it that helps you. Um, certainly always look at the serving size of a food. The serving size is, size is very important. What you put on your plate is not necessarily the serving size. Information on a label will tell you what the recommended serving size is for that food and how many servings are actually provided in that container. And then check the calories. Those calories relate to the serving size. And then an easy piece of information there is calories from fat. If you're going to compare two different foods, always choose the food that has lower calories from fat. And then you can know to limit certain nutrients like total fat and cholesterol and sodium. That's where I've shown those in that yellow bar. And then if you, you, you need to know that there are certain things that we need to consume more often. So getting enough of vitamin A and C and calcium and iron and certainly fiber, very important. So look at that as, a, as an important part of a label. And then know that the product name is always very helpful. It could tell you whether the product is a whole grain product. It can tell you uh, about uh, the food groups in the product, like fruits and vegetables. They're usually part of a product name. Uh, but then you really need to also rely on ingredient statements. And in this case, certainly looking at the first uh, and the last ingredients becomes very important. Because you know about the general nature of the food by those first few ingredients, you need to continue. Look for things like corn syrup or high fructose corn syrup. Look for um, those, uh, that the salt where it can show up and you can get a better judgment between two, two different foods which might be the more healthier choice. So eating healthy on a budget is very important. There's a lot of information at choosemyplate.gov to help you. There's a recipe finder link that could help you uh, get some tips on healthier choices that are on a budget uh, in making meals uh, for every meal of the day. A lot of great information there, including these kinds of tips. Uh, planning, always very important. If you plan before you shop, plan your meals for the week, uh, look for coupons, uh, that's a great, you know, looking for the, for the best price, checking the local newspaper, looking online, even getting coupons online and at stores. Always a good first step. Uh, look for sales. Uh, and certainly uh, look for swaps where you know protein foods are very important, but you can typically swap out more costly uh, ingredients like fish or seafood for less expensive protein sources like beans. Um, and then if you stretch your dollar, if that's, that is important to all of us, you know you can stretch your dollar uh, in, in combination kinds of foods where meals like stews or stir fries really give you the ability to really stretch expensive items into smaller portions. And so you could put those into sort of batches uh, and, and, and have that, those meals available for several meals during a week. And then also batch your favorite recipes. Put them, uh, make them all at once and freeze half of that uh, recipe, half the amount you make and, and use it later. Always a great way uh, to stretch out uh, our menus. Um, being healthy at work, as you know, we're at work, you're hard at work every day and it's always something that is a challenge to us, I think, to think about eating healthy and making uh, wiser choices. Uh, we're so used to caring for others, we're so used to considering others, but take some time for yourself and think about how you can make those healthier choices, easier choices uh, while at work. And certainly making a fruit basket, having fruit available all the time, stocking a break room or your refrigerator with healthy options, always a great, uh, a great plan. And then being active, you know, playing outside with your kids, certainly putting on music and dancing with kids and, and certainly uh, using a buddy system. When you look for that support from friends and family, that encouragement we know, well, through research we know that we're benefited by uh, our friends and those peers and those colleagues that really 
help us uh, really stay engaged and, and uh, think about uh, healthier choices. It's always great uh, to have that teamwork. Well, I mentioned SuperTracker, and at USDA, um, we, we knew that when we created MyPlate and choose MyPlate.gov resources, we needed to put information in, out there in a way that, that anyone, a parent of a two-year-old, a mom, a health professional, uh, a provider, um, and, and teachers all had an easy way uh, of, of putting the dietary guidelines into action. Well, we created that way. We created that free state-of-the-art tool. Uh, so far, I think the number here is a little low. Uh, we've got about 2.4 million registered users of SuperTracker. And you don't have to be a registered user, but we know that there are over 2 million folks out there who regularly use uh, SuperTracker and literally millions each day who are looking to SuperTracker, maybe not as a registered user, but for all of the information through those page views. Uh, to, to look at the information, to understand what a whole grain is, to understand the benefits of fruits and vegetables, to understand how they can swap um, healthier beverages for more caloric beverages. Uh, this is an award-winning tool. I can't say enough about it. We've gotten great recognition uh, for it. Um, and as I said, it's free. And it is the, the, it is the best science-based, uh, interactive, personalized tool there is. And, and these are the features on SuperTracker. You can compare two foods. We've got almost 9,000 foods, over 8,000, actually, that really help you compare two foods. Uh, you, you can understand the calories in two foods and, and choose the one with lower calories. You can uh, choose foods that have lower amounts of sugars and, and saturated fats instantly using the Foodopedia function. You can use the food tracker to track the foods you eat and compare them to the, to the amounts that are recommended for you. Um, you can understand how your physical activity adds up to your, the way you're, you're um, uh, being active and balancing those calories that you consume every day. You can uh, have uh, a, uh, an opportunity to, to look at how uh, you've uh, managed your weight or how you might target goals for weight management. You can also set goals, personal goals, for how you make those swaps in your, in your food choices every day uh, and also get a coach, a coaching uh, ability through the My uh, Top 5 Goals feature. And then there are a lot of reports that you can run. Find out how many foods or, or where your sodium is coming from uh, in all the foods you consume every day, for example. Well, this is the screenshot of, of the food tracker. Uh, it shows you when you make your choices every day. You could do this for yourself or for your family. Uh, you can do it for uh, your friends. Uh, and certainly, importantly, you can do this for yourself to really find those foods you're eating at every meal and get the full breakout in terms of what the nutrients are, how many food groups are contributed, and get your daily limits. You can figure out how many total calories you've eaten in that day or that you plan to eat for that day or for a week. You can also get measures of the amount of fat and sodium uh, that uh, are within those limits that are right for you. Uh, when it comes to uh, your role as a provider, uh, it's also important to know that Using information like SuperTracker or the resources at, uh, at ChooseMyPlate.gov um, help you lead by example. Certainly, you're in a role to be a mentor. And, and so are our parents, and so are teachers, and so are, are other health professionals, or prof uh, teachers, and as I said, and health professionals. We're, we're, we're all examples. And, and really, kids look up to us, and they, they look at our healthy habits, um, and, and they'll usually take a cue from them. And then we also know that if we encourage physical activity and those healthier choices, we're likely to be those great uh, role models. Um, and so um, I invite you, uh, as in your role as a provider, uh, to think about that. And, and it could, in fact, be something you're doing every day today. So um, when it comes to uh, the, uh, the Let's Move Child Care goals, um, certainly it's to uh, get more um, physical activity. Uh, what, what we know is that uh, uh, the First Lady, uh, Michelle Obama, in her Let's Move Child Care initiative, recognized that uh, child care and early education providers are extremely important because they are, in fact, 
that powerful force uh, in children's lives. And they can help them uh, learn uh, healthier habits and prevent childhood obesity and keep them healthy for life. We know that when children adopt healthier habits earlier on, they take them in uh, and, and they become lifelong habits. Uh, Let's Move Child Care also encourages you to, to focus on, on five goals, the ones you see here to get your kids off to a healthy start. Uh, increasing physical activity, reducing screen time, serving, as, uh, serving healthy food, and certainly offering healthy beverages that we talked about earlier. And then supporting infant feeding. When you meet all of these goals, um, you can in fact earn uh, provider recognition. And information about it uh, is at the uh, Let's Move Child Care website. Uh, the MyPlate resources and tips can help you make healthy changes in your program and in fact meet the Let's Move Child Care goals. Uh, so as I said, it's a great complement to the Let's Move effort. So to learn more about the Let's Move Child Care uh, goals or to see how you're doing uh, with regard to these goals, you can certainly visit, uh, as you see here on the screen, uh, the Let's Move Child Care website, uh, www.healthykidshealthyfuture.org. So uh, when it comes to being a healthy role model, what does that mean? And, and so building out some of the, the goals uh, for uh, Let's Move Child Care, uh, you, are, you are in fact the most important influence on, on your child. And you could do a lot of things uh, to help your children develop healthy eating habits for life. Um, offering a variety of foods helps children uh, get the nutrients they need from every food group. Um, they'll also be more likely to try new foods and to like more new foods. Uh, when they're introduced. And when children develop a taste for many types of foods, uh, we know through research it's easier uh, to plan uh, family meals. Cooking together is important, certainly eating together, talking together, and making mealtime uh, a family uh, tradition is very important. Um, a lot of information is out there about um, uh, picky eaters. Um, and um, Allowing children uh, to help prepare new snacks or sandwiches is a great way to um, uh, deal with picky eaters. Uh, these are all great tips here. You know, cutting foods into fun and easy shapes with cookie cutters is another great idea uh, to help kids be engaged and really interested in foods, especially new foods. You know, jazzing up the taste of veggies, you know, with low-fat dressings or dips, always very helpful. Low-fat is key, uh, but certainly it makes uh, uh, a new taste. Uh, very appealing. Um, small, small portions, uh, giving small portions really give you great benefits, big benefits. Uh, so giving a small taste at first uh, and then being patient with um, trying again over and over and over. Uh, offering one new food at a time is all, all, also good advice and serving it with uh, something you know the, the, the kids like is always good. And then offering new foods first, certainly at the beginning of a meal when they're most hungry. Uh, is a great tip for picky eaters. Uh, when it comes to meal and snack ideas, there's a lot of information at um, choosemyplate.gov. And, and here are some meal and snack ideas. Um, it, it's uh, a matter of looking at breakfast and, and looking at more fruits and vegetables and whole grains. And so we've, give, we've given you, and in fact, you can find information at choosemyplate.gov. Uh, you know, cereal and bananas a great a way of getting uh, whole grains and certainly the fruits that kids need. Uh, yogurt and strawberries are a great way to get the dairy foods we need. And adding a, a, a slice of whole wheat toast, a great breakfast idea. You know, applesauce topped to pancakes, a great idea as well. Uh, looking at portion size, you know, one small pancake. And then I've given you some other ideas for lunches uh, here uh, that are appealing that we know came from experience with um, with uh, kids over the years. And again, information, uh, this information is available at choosemyplate.gov. Afternoon snack ideas, I've given you some that are great ideas here. You know, fruits and vegetables, great snacks, a lot of nutrients for the calories. And so knowing that a half a cup of yogurt, certainly um, uh, snap peas, great snacks, uh, looking at veggies uh, in, in matchstick form, looking at uh, juices, 100% juices, even string cheese that's low fat, great choices. Physical activity is important. It's balancing our calories that's so important. It helps kids strengthen muscles and help um, 
uh, help them build uh, healthier lungs and, and hearts. And so uh, it's important uh, to get that exercise every day. And so a um, lot of great ideas here, a lot of information at choosemyplate.gov, certainly a lot of information uh, that coincides with uh, Let's Move uh, resources as well. A lot of indoor activities for those rainy days uh, and for uh, those sunny days. Uh, certainly uh, games in the yard and walks and playing catch and certainly uh, riding bikes uh, and swimming. Fantastic ways to balance those calories with uh, very important physical activity. Coming soon uh, to choosemyplate.gov is our MyPlate Kids Place. Uh, it's going to be that one-stop shop for all of our resources, not only from USDA, but from Let's Move, from uh, our friends at the Department of Health and Human Services, all in one place you'll be able to find games and videos and songs. And yes, there are in fact professionally developed songs out there uh, that I'm sure you'll be singing and humming uh, to uh, all about my plate and uh, important food groups. Uh, and then a lot of other great activities I hope you'll look at and then uh, use in your provider settings. So uh, you can get daily uh, tips, uh, certainly, at, um, uh, uh, at choosemyplate.gov. Uh, daily tips all about um, on the go and, and how you can uh, uh, eat more healthy when you're uh, away from home, uh, when eating out, you know, choosing main uh, dishes that include vegetables, as they said earlier. And then also foods that really combine uh, uh, some meat uh, with vegetables, also a great idea. You know, stir fries are always good that way uh, in, in really getting the vegetables as well as the protein foods we need. Uh, trimming away um, fat from meats, great first step in cooking. So these are the kind of uh, tips that we give every day. And it's important to know that there's a tip of the day. And you can sign up for those tips of the day by going to choosemyplate.gov and then clicking on tip of the day. And so you can get this uh, in, in however you receive uh, your internet and know that uh, every day there's going to be a new tip, something you can try and share uh, with your colleagues. There are more resources available at choosemyplate.gov. There's a consumer brochure. Not only is it in English, but it's in uh, uh, Spanish as well. Let's eat for the health of it. There are posters. There are videos. There are menus and recipes. Uh, in fact, uh, there's a week's worth of recipes uh, for, for eating according to the dietary guidelines at a moderate cost. There's 10 tips nutrition education series, and, and I know later you'll probably have some questions, and a lot of them are answered in these 10 tips pieces. There's a MyPlate community toolkit. We put together a toolkit to help you uh, put MyPlate into action um, in, in your communities and in your, in your community groups. Uh, and know that um, a lot of uh, great artwork and graphics are available, like the poster you see there about uh, fruits and veggies. Uh, Spanish resources I mentioned, and so I've shown those to you here. Certainly, uh, they can
Okay, it looks like we are still having some audio issues. So we're going to look here. Um, if you guys do have any questions, we are going to try and answer those for you if you'd like to type those into the questions box. And up on the screen right now, we have the information to stay connected. Um, we have the Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and websites available to you. And I'll keep an eye on the questions as they come in. And we are trying to get Dr. Post back on the line so we're able to answer all of your questions. Okay, so we have a question here. Um, it's coming in. It says, I'm usually really busy during the day and short on time. Do you have any suggestions for healthy snacks that I can eat on the go or meals that are easy to prepare? Um, the answer yes. here, okay, go ahead, Dr. Post. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, and I'm sorry, I, I'm not sure why there was a little audio uh, issue, uh, but it may have been the wide, the wide, uh, wide world of the internet. Um, uh, but uh, there are some tips. Actually, there's a um, there's a, a lot of information in what we call our Ten Tips Nutrition Education Series at at uh, ChooseMyPlate.gov, and uh, it's it's one of those links you'll find on the left side once you on the landing page for ChooseMyPlate.gov, uh, and one of them, in fact, is my plate snack tips for parents. There's a lot of great ways to get uh, into healthy snacking. Um, and you can, as I had mentioned earlier, uh, saving time by slicing veggies, always having those available. When you buy them fresh, putting them in plastic bags, certainly in the right portions, and having them uh, available for, um, for the kids. And using low-fat dressing really makes them very appealing. Uh, certainly uh, for older age uh, or older school age kids, you know, mixing uh, dried fruit and unsalted nuts and popcorn in snack size bags, you know, to make that, that easy uh, home prepared trail mix uh, is great. Um, and then, um, in fact, you can blend plain fat free or low fat yogurt with 100% fruit juice and, and frozen peaches, and you can get a great smoothie. Another thing you could do, um, certainly whole grains. Um, and having a slice of whole wheat bread as your option for a snack, another great thing. A very convenient whole oat cereals are another way to snack on something healthy. And certainly uh, choosing lean proteins like low sodium deli meats occasionally with uh, unsalted nuts or, or even eggs, other options uh, for a healthier snacks. Uh, it's always good to keep an eye on size. Portion size is very important. Uh, certainly snacks shouldn't replace a meal, but I think some of these options are, um, are helpful. And as I said, my plate, uh, snack tips for parents and for caregivers, uh, certainly information you'll find at choosemyplate.gov. Okay, great. We have a few more questions coming in here. Um, a question that's come in quite a few times is, do you have any tips for eating healthy for vegetarians? Again, uh, really a lot of good information at ChooseMyPlate.gov. We've got some 10 tips on smart shopping for fruits and veggies. We've got uh, ideas for adding more vegetables to your day. And also, when it comes to kids, some ways of, of really dealing with uh, getting more kid-friendly veggies and fruits in our choices and making uh, healthy foods more fun for children. But, but for, for, for you, um, there's an important uh, uh, information is important information not only uh, that the super tracker will help you with but as part of the dietary guidelines information at choosemyplate.gov there's an eating pattern that helps you understand how to how to get all the vitamins and minerals you need when in fact you're um, eating um, in in a in according to a vegan eating pattern or a lacto ovo uh, vegetarian pattern where you're you're consuming milk and eggs as your protein food sources. Um, you, you always need to know that you've got to consider uh, that uh, you need to get your vitamins and minerals like your 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 B12 uh, when you when you um, build your healthy eating or your healthy plates uh, in a vegetarian uh, manner. Um, so I would look at uh, the information at choosemyplate.gov. Uh, and know that uh, there is a, uh, a vegetarian eating pattern that 
uh, is advised and it will get you all of the nutrients you need within the calories that are just right for you. And I invite everyone that is interested in plant-based or, or looking to veg as, as, um, for more plant-based foods uh, to uh, use Super Tracker because it will help you in a personalized way. Okay, great. Um, it looks like we have a question here. Um, do we still follow the food pyramid or will my plate be in place of it? Well, and that's a great question, and, and it's certainly one we've, we've gotten uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, certainly since June of 2011, when we launched MyPlate, uh, we found the, the food pyramid. Uh, originally, in 1992, we launched the pyramid uh, in, in the federal government, and USDA did an awful lot in, in making it available, even in schools. But it's really been replaced now. Um, we found that it works great in a classroom, uh, it, it, but it has a an awful lot of information that makes it a little complicated, certainly as that inspiring visual cue. Uh, and so that's why for the 2010 Dietary Guidelines for Americans, we took a new approach and, and we were really challenged to get something that's inspiring, something that's familiar. What's, what's not more familiar than a place setting uh, with a plate that shows us our food groups uh, and reminds us to eat healthier and make more healthier food choices at mealtimes? That's what my plate's all about. And it takes you to choosemyplate.gov to find all the information you need. And know that it's just not a matter of getting online, but for those who don't have access to online tools, there's an awful lot of print materials that are available that could be obtained to help you make healthier choices. Um, so it's a simpler icon that we're using these days, and we really have, in fact, replaced the pyramid. Um, and, and we put it uh, on the library shelf, so to speak. All right, and we are running out of time here, but we have time for one or two more questions. Um, great question here. Are there any phone apps to make this information more accessible on the go? Well, probably the number one question I get. Um, we, we are very anxious to create a mobile application for SuperTracker uh, for certainly a lot of its more um, uh, popular functions, although they are very popular. Uh, like comparing two foods and choosing one with lower calories. So we're working on that. And, and hopefully by, we'll have some functions available by the end of this year. I can't promise that. But certainly uh, it, it, over the next year or so, our goal is to have uh, mobile uh, applications uh, of super tracker features. Um, and, and I invite you right now uh, in, in place of that to really engage us through the social media opportunities to stay connected, as you see here. Uh, and follow us, and certainly uh, through Gov Delivery, get uh, uh, information that you can easily download um, uh, when it comes out uh, weekly or daily. So know that in the future, yes, we will have an app, but right now we don't. All right, great. great. Um, I think the last question that we have time for here, um, I've tried using whole grain noodles and rice, but my kids just don't like it and won't eat it. Do you have any suggestions? You know, you know on, on by themselves, they may be a change, and we're all talking about changing tastes and preferences. It's very difficult, you know. Try, you know, I, the number of tries we we make becomes very important, and it's usually not on the first try for some new food. Low fat, you know, or even fat-free dressings are great options. You know, it could be a salad dressing, it could be a, a, a marinade, but really going for one. That's, that's lower in fat or even fat-free and one where, you know, you look for not too many calories in a, in a tablespoon, that can jazz up uh, a, um, a whole wheat uh, pasta and certainly uh, a brown rice, and, and that might be uh, something worth trying. Okay, great. Um, well, it looks like that's all the time we have for today, but I would like to thank everyone for joining us on our webinar, and as I mentioned earlier, those certificates and information will be sent out to you by the 24th. Thank you. Thank you very much.